Hello friends and enemies, it's me Isabel here with a fun one today. So I haven't done an update on this in a while. I actually didn't check before filming. Um, I pulled the title. So I'm doing a series I'm currently reading and want to finish update right now because there's a lot of books I'm in the middle of series for. As romance readers, there's a ton of standalones, right? But I feel like there's also a lot of interconnected series that we read and like pick up and put down repeatedly, at least I do. So I'm excited to talk about the ones that I'm hoping to prioritize this year. Will I finish all of them? Probably not. But you know, hopefully when I come back next February, this list is different and shorter and the other list of ones I finished is longer. Uh, if you're interested in one that focuses mainly on manga, I think in December I'm going to go through all the manga series I completed in 2023. Let's dive right in and talk about these series. If there's one that sticks out to you as something I need to get to sooner than later, please, please, please let me know. First up, we have the Peculiar Taste series from Katie Robert and Jenny Nordback and Melody, Melody Carlisle. This is part of the Bonkers Romance Kickstarter that they did last year. I've read two of the six. I do really need to continue the series. I've enjoyed it, but I'm kind of pacing it because I'm not not loving it <laughs> as much as I wanted to. I loved Katie's book uh, and Jenny Nordback's was okay, but I'm on to book three, which I think is Nikki Sloan's. I'm not positive or no, it's Adriana Herrera's. That's the next one. So I'll be reading that sooner than later. And we also have The Valley of the Old Gods, which if you're new here, I loved Railed by the Easter Bunny. Uh, and we've gotten a sequel to that, which I do need to read. And I've read Railed by Krampus and we have Railed by Bacchanal. I think I said that right. Uh, that just came out. So I will be reading that or Railed by Bacchus, something like that. I'll put the cover here. Anyways, this one just came out, but because of Read What You Own, I haven't picked it up yet. I'm actively reading the series. I plan to continue reading it. They're very quick and very ridiculous, we'll call it, in the best way. So they're just kind of right up my like personal interests for over the top romances. Then we have the Mead Mishaps series by Kimberly Lemming. I have read the first two books. I've not read the novella. I've not read Mistlefoe, which is the novella in between the first two books, uh, like the first full lengths, but I did read A Bump in Boo Hail. So I'm basically caught up here. I do plan to pick up Mistlefoe probably in July for Christmas in July. Uh, but yeah, I'm loving this cozy fantasy romance series. Personally, I think these are really, really fun to read and I think they're such a delight to just kind of pick up when you want something that's different, but also like romance, like it's soft, <laughs> but an adventure, like, I don't know, it gives me the best of both worlds. So I love that about this series so much and I'm really excited to read more. Next we have the five pack series by Casey Wells. So I am in the middle of a couple Casey Wells series. So five packs is her paranormal series. And I really uh, loved the first book, The Heir of Parents Rejected Mate. Uh, it, it just completely threw the normal, typical paranormal romance tropes on their head, in my opinion, in a way that I wasn't expected. I didn't think I would love Rejected Mate as much as I did. So I do need to pick up book two in this series and keep going. I know book three came out, I think at the end of last year or the beginning of this year, somewhere in there. I'm also in the middle of Kate C. Wells's, um, Steel Bones Motorcycle Club. I've read the first two of these and I would like to continue them. Uh, for me, her motorcycle clubs I actually like and I'm again not a big motorcycle club reader so that's exciting to know that uh, that they're working for me. And they definitely do, I will say that the series does lean into the motorcycle tropes but in a way that also still continues to feel a little bit fresh and inventive compared to some of the ones I read where I just feel like the heroines are so helpless it's annoying we'll call it then we have the stay a spell series by juliet cross i wasn't sure if i would continue these but i do already own the next two on audio or three so i am planning to get caught up in the series and i may or may not continue it after that that'll be in my like series i quit if i do stop reading it but for now i'm curious enough to continue and i find these they're weirdly compelling when I read them, but I don't feel like they stick with me or that I have much to say about them after the fact. So like, they're not bad by any means. They're just not like so compelling that they like stick with me. They're just like fun to read in the moment. And after that, I'm just like, eh, whatevs. I hope that makes sense. Uh, then we have The Innkeeper Chronicles by Alona Andrews, <laughs> which I'm doing a read along with some of my friends this year. So I will be done with it in 2023. I keep wanting to say 2022, y'all. 
uh, and I'm really really excited to read the series. This is like a, I'm also gonna call this a cozy fantasy kind of, but it has the perfect mix of both sci-fi and paranormal and all the things in like a pot that we stirred around and I'm really loving it. Uh, we are only on book two right now when you're watching this, like book two's live is in February. So if you want to join us, you have plenty of time to catch up and join us. On the Alona Andrews note, I am going to attempt, I said it last year, but I really am going to attempt to finish Kate Daniels this year. I am on book six. I'm on Magic Rises five and a half, which is gunmetal magic. So I do need to read those two and then I'm going to just, I'm just going to keep going from where I'm at. I'm not going to go back and re-listen or revisit, which is what I originally tried to do because I don't think that's going to benefit me at the end of the day to do that. <laughs> so instead I'm just going to call it and start from book six or five and a half, somewhere in there. I'm either gonna pick up Gunmetal Magic or I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Convince me in the comments. But yeah, I really would like to finish Kate Daniels. It's a series I've been reading for a long time and I just kind of like bopped in and out of. So I think it would be nice to just say goodbye and read the new novella sooner than later. Next, we have Dark Olympus by Katie Robert, which I am caught up on. I do, Radiant Sun comes out the day this video is up. So I do have Radiant Sun to listen to. I got the audio from Libro FM, so I will probably be listening to that pretty soonish to discuss. I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited to see where we're going. I know this one is extra messy and slow burn for Katie with Radiance in is what I hear, so I'm on board. Uh, slow burn for Katie sounds great because that sounds like my kind of slow burn. On the Dark Olympus series, if you aren't aware, I'm doing a read along on chapter three podcast with Bethany for this series, and I'm really, really excited about it. We are going to be reading through these. Uh, starting in April. So if you haven't read the Dark Olympus series and you want to join us for live discussions on that, you should. You should read it in April or before the live or after the live. Read it and then watch the live. It doesn't matter. Take your pick. But that is happening. We're hosting a little read along for it. Then we have Tita Rosie's Mystery Kitchen. This is the uh, Filipino based cozy mystery series that I have absolutely adored. This first book was Adobo and Arsenic and I need to read the newest one which is this is one where I meant to get to it in December and I just never did so I'm hoping to get caught up again here very quickly and then just kind of wait my butt around till the next book drops this fall probably. Uh, but yeah I'm really just loving a cozy lately. Cozy romance, cozy mystery, cozy fantasy. Like I'm just here for the cozy books. Like 2023 is all about cozy. Next, this series ends in 2023, which is The Vicious Lost Boys. I am anxiously awaiting my art copy uh, as a member of Nikki's Patreon to hopefully read the finale and just not ready, but I'm ready. Like, I'm ready to see what else Nikki writes. So this is a series I'm caught up on. I read them as they come out. I, three of them came out last year and I loved them. So <laughs> I am anxious to finish this series in 2023 and see where we are then also to see what the spinoffs are. Then we have the Gods of Hunger series by RM Virtue. So I read the first book in this series last summer and I've not continued it and I really do want to. I own them and I really would like to pick more of them up. I think these are such fun different take on a Greek god retelling and I really like RM's writing so I do want to make sure I'm like actually actively reading the series. So probably in between some of the other books I'm reading, I need to start just picking these up. And we have Salacious Players Club by Sarah Kate. So this was like a TikTok made me buy it situation and some other people I saw that love, love, love this series. And I finished book three, give me more. And I liked it, didn't love it. And now I have book four, which a lot of people don't like to read. Uh, I have all four of those signs. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I will keep them. It's not a big deal. But I have those books and I will be reading Mercy sooner than later and then deciding this is this is the thing. I've enjoyed them less and less as I've went. Which is not great. That's not a good sign. So I'm going to read Mercy and if I don't like it, I'm done with the series and it's going on my DNF shelf for series like we're done. We're not going to keep going. And if I do, I'm going to pick up one that like just piques my interest versus like reading through the entire series. Then we have everyone's beloved Sophie Lark. I have Brutal Birthright to finish. I think I'm on book four right now. And I really do want to finish these because I have all of this kids books, The Kingmakers on audio. And I think I might do like a vlog where I just read a whole bunch of Sophie Lark potentially. I'm not sure. I just I really enjoy her writing, but I don't want to burn myself out on it either. 
so I'm in that weird position of like, I want to read this, but also I don't want to like read too much of it. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I personally at least have really enjoyed the Brutal Birthright so far. I think that they've been really fun. They're really different. Uh, they play on tropes we know and love from Mafia books, but also aren't like just a rinse and repeat of the same things. Next, we have Deal with a Demon series by Katie Robert. I love this series. I've read the first three books. I do need to read the Kraken book, and I'm planning on getting to it sooner than later, uh, obviously, but I do have an audio of it because I'm a member of her Patreon on that tier, so I'll probably pick up the audio in the next month or two and be caught up on those because the rest of that series isn't coming out until 2024, so I think it'd feel really good, in my opinion, to just be caught up until those next ones come out. Then we have another cozy mystery series, Finley Donovan. I am almost caught up. I'm waiting on my library hold for the third book, which is Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun. I've really, really enjoyed these. These are very much a madcap cozy mystery. Like they're wild. They're over the top. They're ridiculous. And I just really have a fun time every time I read them. So I'm excited to keep reading them until they're no longer fun for me. Next, we have the Bright Fall series by Ashley Herring Blake, which I'm really enjoying. I need to pick up Astrid Parker really soon. <laughs> I picked up a signed copy of it from the Parnassus. I need to actually pick up that book and read it. So I'm planning to get caught up on that series pretty soon here. I'm really excited for Iris Kelly that comes out later this year. I would just like to like finish the year having read this whole series so far because honestly they're everything. They're just really great sapphic romances being traditionally published and it's so refreshing to see that happening in the adult space now. And then last, the newest series I've started, I'm not even done with the first book as of posting this, but I already know. There is no way I'm not picking up more and that is The Dustwalker Brides. I'm in the middle of A Soul to Keep right now and I'm already obsessed and I already want to read more. I don't want to put them down so I'm going to be definitely continuing the series and reading through the next few two books that are out. The third book comes out in February so I'm very excited to see more of this and see where it goes. So those are my like priority series for 2023 we'll call it slash the things I'm hoping to get through somewhat this year. Let me know in the comments if you have series you're prioritizing this year specifically um and if there's any series here that you think I should prioritize over the others as far as reading them sooner than later and if you don't want to do that leave me a leaf emoji we'll do a leaf emoji why not leave me a leaf emoji and I will be back to talk to y'all in just a few days bye already packing come with me I'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get